I'm super pumped about today's video. I am here with my husband. <laughs> this is the first time I got to say that on my channel. I'm very excited. Okay. Uh, no ma'am. <laughs> that was Liza. <laughs> Before today's video, I went to vitamin shop the other day and had to get Austin a couple of things. And when I was there, I saw some pretty intriguing protein snacks. Now, if you are new to my channel, you may not know this, but I am very picky. Super, super picky when it comes to protein snacks, whereas Austin is really not that way. So I figured, to be fair, so I don't completely like trash all of these <laughs> different companies, I figured he could taste some of them as well and we could give our unbiased, honest opinion. All of these were purchased at Vitamin Shops, kind of a bunch of random stuff, and we'll just kind of rate them and let you guys know what we think is good and what we think is not good, and just go from there. So, ready? Ready. Okay. Okay, so first up, we have the Outright Chocolate Chip Peanut Butter. Now, some of these things were recommended by you guys, so this was one of them, and I'll make sure to say the macros and pop up all the uh, different information on these products on the screen. So this has uh, 12 grams, I'm sorry, 13 grams of fat, 25 carb, and 16 protein, three fiber, 16 sugars, and looks like 95 milligrams of sodium. So you wanna take the first bite? Sure. Okay. The consistency of it, we'll kind of like try to give you, you know, a pretty good uh, explanation of the consistency. Oh, so for, oh, very dry. <laughs> very dry. <laughs> wow. Okay, so, oh yeah, you can see. Okay, let me give you a close up here of this guy. I want to do some more. He's not wrong. It's very thick. Um, it's very dense, but it does not have that sugar alcohol taste to it. And that to me is very important, important. I like that overly, like, let me just give you an example. I hate Quest bars. I think they're absolutely disgusting. They're probably one of the worst tasting protein bars I've ever tasted in my life. Now I will say that this one, in my opinion, would be something that you would want to crumble up and put on top of a smoothie. That would be the best way that I could possibly see this being beneficial, but it is rather dry and rather dense. I would not recommend this. On a scale of one to 10, what would you give this? Two. <laughs> I was gonna be a little bit more generous and say like five. Also, this tastes more real tasting, so keep that in mind. Okay, next up we have Finaflex, Finaflex oatmeal pie. And this is in the flavor key lime pie. Have you ever had these before? I think I actually had one of these, not the key lime pie. I think the normal one that's like a, um, it's very similar to those like things if you're anywhere around like a 30 year old human being, there are these things that were just a normal oatmeal pie back yeah. when kids. Um, <coughs> what were they called, whoopies? They're, they have a normal flavor that actually is fairly close to that. So I would give those a high grade, but I, you're okay. way, way more about key lime. Yeah, pie. that's why I grabbed this one. Okay, so, oops, I guess I should have just bit that. I just, I really, I was dealing with an IBS flare up on Tuesday, so I'm not trying to eat too much of this. Oh. Yeah, I mean, consistency-wise, that's very similar to, like I said, those things back in the day. Yeah. Um, the cookie portion. You probably like the most of it. Um, yeah, you're not a huge key lime. The, yeah, the key lime's fairly strong. Uh, it is. It's definitely more limey. It's not the greatest, but I mean, I don't know how fresh that is but uh, yeah it's a little like seems like it was overcooked you know now here's the thing on this guy macros are 17 fat 37 carb and 14 protein so is it worth the protein to carbon fat ratio eh, you can kind of decide that on your own i would give that one like a six out of ten though it wasn't Ooh, horrible. i'll give it a 6.5 okay all right Okay, I'm, guess, I'm guessing we're gonna leave this guy out because I didn't realize I bought two of these. This is the other outright flavor in chocolate chip almond butter. But since we didn't like those, we're gonna skip that. This is something I've never seen before. This is from Power Crunch, the chocolate. Clat. Chocolate. You're, yeah, you, you're covering that. Oh, chocolate, sorry. Clat. <laughs> I used to like the wafers back in the day. They did have a little bit of sugar alcohol taste to them. And so far, all of these are pretty high in fat. This is 12 fat, 17 carb, and 10 protein. So this is kind of like one of those little uh, Hershey's, you see like the little ridges. I okay. did that. One bite, everyone knows the rules. Okay. So you know, it's very interesting about this. And this is my theory about healthy snack in general. Okay. Consistency plays a big role. Yeah. Nine times out of 10, the best consistency is crunchier yeah. style stuff. Like any that's Agreed. crunchier. Cause I think it gets rid of that like dryness and the like powdery, that side of things. Crunchy always works best in my opinion for any type of a healthy bar. Uh, 
I thought that tastes pretty darn good. That's yeah, the, I thought that was that's pretty. That's probably the better one that we've had so far. Yeah, come on. Frick it, um, there you go. I would so, give that, uh, I'll give that an eight, actually. Yeah. You remember the little Nestle bars, the Nestle Crunch bars? That's very, very similar. So, yeah, that tastes very similar. Super yeah. similar consistency. Next up, the Grenade Carb Killer Biscuit. Carb Killer! Okay, macros on this guy. Not bad. For one biscuit, we have five fat. 11 carb and six protein. So a little bit more of like a snack, not a full protein replacement here. Oh, there's two biscuits, two biscuits per package. So maybe you want to take a little bite out of. It's fully uh, coated in this. It really wants to focus on your face here. Is this a coffee flavor? Uh, this it is, like no, salted caramel. Oh, it smells like coffee. Oh, that's a, you don't like that one. No, 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 you only get one bite. You only get one bite, you're not. I'm not cheating. It tastes like coffee. Yeah. Oh. I think they might have mislabeled that. That for sure says salted caramel on it. That's a coffee taste. But that is a very- Definitely a coffee taste. Mocha, right? Yeah, not bad. I actually like not that. Not bad, but just misleading uh, on the packaging. Yeah, again, this is something that you totally could crumble up and put on a protein smoothie or something like that. But I, I would actually give this one an 8.5 out of 10. Wow, you liked it that much? Uh, I didn't yeah. like it quite as much the last one, so I'll give it a 7.5. Okay. No, you're not gonna like these because it's coconut flavor, but that's the only kind they had. So you don't okay. have to try this if you don't want to. These are the Women's Best, which is, don't even get me started on those type of misleading, like for women thing, because nothing about this is for women. It's just a protein snack. Now, these are little truffles. I have to block your head when I do this. So there we go. These are little truffles with flakes on them. So again, if you don't want to try it, you don't have to. You have a very coconut smell to them. And this is five grams of fat for three bites, 10 carb and 11 protein. Oh, that was not the consistency I thought they were gonna be. Ugh. <laughs> oh God, that's so gross. I'm dang out. I just think it's kind of dry. Oh, it's like, can you get down over this? Please? I didn't think it was that bad. Oh, gross. I thought it was like, I thought it was Quest Bar-ish. Really? Oh, also, can we just admire this cup for one second? Very cool cup. Oh, look at the cup, we're just super excited. Very cool cup. So great. Okay, gross, that's disgusting. Bye. Zero out of 10. Zero. Ugh, I, I need water. Well, I'll give it a five. What? You don't even like coconut. Next up, this is intriguing. Check this out. Pop-Tarts. Yeah. These are from the brand Legendary Foods, which their nut butters are actually pretty good. So I thought maybe this would be worth giving a try. So for one pastry, 13 fat, 21 carb, and nine protein, which is really not that much better than regular Pop-Tarts. Keep that in mind. But that point, not really Exactly, like yes, the carbs are gonna be, can you help me with that? I can't get that. Carbs are gonna be a little bit more on the regular Pop-Tarts, but in this case, this has- The packaging alone isn't worth it. <laughs> Can't freaking open this. You're thing. gonna. I know it's gonna happen too. You're gonna break it, and the whole thing is gonna explode. I'm not convinced. I'm gonna, oh, there's a. You, you don't open it like a normal one. It's got a little slot. Oh, slot this is the strawberry flavor. Not the best looking aesthetic. Ew, look at the back of it. Go to the other side. Oh my gosh. Oh. Mm. I'll have to focus here. Yeah, there we go. Oh my god. What happened there? <laughs> what did they do? That's dry. What is this? Oh my God. This is why I don't like protein snacks and bars. I just can't. I can't even tell what's going on. Like, <laughs> I'm on right now. like the, the consistency is weird. I never really got like a full taste of anything. Yeah, it's really very got, bland. Yeah. It seems like they just took flour and like tried to bake it, but it was not, that's not good. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, that was not good, that was like a two. Yeah, I was gonna say two also. Ugh. These suck. <laughs> okay, when uh, Keisha and Ashley were here, I think they tried one of these and she actually liked it, but I remember that this was very sugar alcohol -y. Now, do you taste that when you taste protein bars? Um, like at that very, like, Some of them, not as, not, as, not as like big as you do. Okay, so this is from Alani and everyone kisses this brand's ass and I really wanna know why. So the macros are six fat, 17 carb, and 16 protein. These look very similar to the Muscle Farm bars. Remember those? I do, those had a good consistency. They too. did have a good consistency. This, this is the um, Fruity Pebble flavor. Inside of the bar is more of like a Rice Krispie. That's actually like, it's not bad. What's the sugar alcohols on that? 
I didn't say. It has a slight chemical taste to it. It's not horrible. Yeah, it does pretty good. Yeah, like for the macros, I would say that's definitely like worth what it tastes like. And just for fun, because everybody said we needed to try the birthday cake one. It's the same brand, but just birthday cake. So I just kind of want to see. And this was way more crunchy for some reason. Yeah, it's got a lot of crunch, I can tell. Just yeah. The stacks of it. Oh no, see, I think that tastes very fake. Like that, you know that like really fake birthday cake taste? That's exactly what that has. That's definitely like. Yeah, I do not like that one. Mm -hmm. um, birthday cake taste. Oh. Um, oh yeah, I, I never liked that. Um, first one was, was pretty good though. Yeah. Okay, fruity, fruity cereal is definitely the way to go with that. They all suck, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but if you do like snacks, as much as I hate Quest bars, the Quest chips are actually, they're, they're, they're pretty good. Yeah, I would they're say the new good. improved, um, whatever they did to these is way better than what the old ones used to be. So if you actually are looking for a good protein snack, that is that is probably the way to go. Uh, again, this video was not sponsored. Purchased all of this with my own money and I'm really sad. I am <laughs> i don't know what to do with all of this now. So I feel like that's kind of a waste. We should have cut it instead of biting into it so I can maybe give it to other people, but. Oh, that tastes so bad in my mouth. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click subscribe so you never miss a Monday or Thursday with Manders. And I need to go brush my teeth now. Okay, I'll see you in the next video.